हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस लेसन इज ऑल अबाउट स्लोप ऑफ आइसोथर्मल एंड एडायबेटिक कर्व ऑन पी वी डायग्राम वॉट आई मीन टू सेयर इज हेयर इज दैट स्टूडेंट्स आर सो मच कन्फ्यूज एज हाउ टू ड्रॉ दी आइसोथर्मल कर्व एंड एडायबेटिक कर्व ऑन पी वी डायग्राम बिकॉज कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर लाइन इज अ हॉरिजोंटल लाइन एंड कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम लाइन इज अ वर्टिकल लाइन द टू मोर इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन इज द आइसोथर्मल एज वेल एज द एडायबेटिक लाइन सो वी विल सी दैट हाउ टू ड्रॉ दीज टू लाइन हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट दीज टू लाइन्स ऑन पी वी डायग्राम बट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग एनी फर्दर आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माइ My name is Harshit Agarwal. Graduated from NIT Nagpur in 2008. I have cleared the Indian Engineering Service Examination and GATE Examination. I have got the offer letter from most of the Maharatna and Navratna companies regarding course fee. As you already know that there is no course fee as such, but your contributions are always welcome. You can also follow me on the specified link. This lesson is very small as I I just want to tell you how to draw this isothermal and adiabatic curve on PV diagram. So to start with the slope of isothermal curve on PV diagram. See. we know that what is the ideal gas equation the ideal gas equation is equal to pv is equal to mrt m and r are generally constant and the process which we are taking over here is that the temperature is also constant so the equation becomes pv is equal to constant taking derivative of both side left hand side as well as the right hand side derivative of constant is always zero so pdv plus vdp is equal to zero see if you want to take the slope of any curve on y x i mean y x is on and x x you what you have to do is you generally do dy by dx similarly there is pressure pressure and volume axis pv so if you want to take the slope of isothermal curve on pv diagram what you have to find over there is that you have to find dp by dv so pdv plus vdp is equal to 0 so pdv is equal to minus times vdp pdv is equal to minus times vdp so taking the slopes dp by dv dp by dv is equal to minus time pv which is slope of isothermal curve on pv diagram which is equal to minus p upon v see minus sign is simply the direction you have to take the magnitude which is p by v right negative slope it is just the direction so the slope of isothermal curve on pv diagram is equal to minus p by v similarly if we see the slope of adiabatic curve on pv diagram to start with the adiabatic equation which is pv raised to power gamma is equal to constant taking derivative of both both sides what you will get is p gamma v raised to power gamma minus 1 dv plus v raised to power gamma dp and derivative of constant is zero so p gamma v gamma upon v dv plus v gamma dp is equal to zero so taking dp by dv for isothermal curve dp by dv was minus p by v for adiabatic curve dp by dv is minus gamma times p by v and you already know that gamma is generally greater than 1 gamma is generally greater than 1 so the slope of adiabatic curve on pv diagram is greater than the slope of isothermal curve because gamma is greater gamma is generally greater than 1 and minus sign minus sign is just the magnitude i just want to tell you that ignore the minus and take the magnitude the magnitude for the isothermal curve is p by v whereas magnitude for the adiabatic curve is gamma times p by v so so whenever you see two curves whenever you see two curves on pv diagram the curve with more slope the curve having more slope is a adiabatic curve and the curve having less slope is a isothermal curve so just keep in mind that adiabatic curve has more slope than isothermal curve on pv diagram so as slope of adiabatic curve in pv diagram is equal to gamma times the slope of isothermal curve on pv diagram and many a times question is asked in gate and engineering service examination like what is the ratio of slope of adiabatic curve to the ratio of slope of isothermal curve say simply say it as it is equal to gamma and as gamma is greater than one slope of adiabatic curve is greater than the slope of isothermal curve on pv diagram this is a very short lesson so just this just to simplify your concepts that a diabetic curve has more slope than isothermal curve and these are the derivation this is a derivation for a diabetic curve then this is a derivation for a isothermal curve as we have seen in the previous lesson representation of all the five processes on pv diagram with the help of k in this particular lesson we are i am i want to tell you with the help of gamma as a diabetic slope is greater than the isothermal slope so thanks a lot from my side just focus on these lessons you will feel confident enough to get through this engineering services and gate examination thanks a lot this is harshit agarwal all the best to you